Hey everybody, Lavelle Lee here from Don Bluth Studios and TraditionalAnimation.com. So this is gonna be a brand new show. Uh, many parts, hopefully, if you guys actually like this, this is gonna be the Don Bluth Archive Series, part one, which is gonna be NIM Storyboards, which is pretty cool. Now, if you guys like this series and you want more, uh, we've got plenty of artwork. We're actually going through all the artwork right now and working on the, the, uh, the Lost Art of Don Bluth book. So we're doing some children's books, uh, the Bluth Fables, but we're also doing a Lost Art of Don Bluth book. Now, some of the stuff isn't gonna be in it. It's gonna be mostly stuff that's not, you know, from his films, you know, potential films that he wanted to make, like Beauty and the Beast, stuff like that. Uh, I think the one was Seder Day, Aladdin, stuff like that. That's gonna be in the Lost Art book. But this series is gonna be stuff from his films that have never seen the light of day, such as these storyboards. So I'll be going through all these today. Uh, maybe in future episodes, if this gets popular, I'll ask Don to chime in and come in and be a special guest <laughs> of his own stuff. <laughs> so let's get started. So this is going to be part one, which is about these, which I found in storage. There's so much stuff in storage, too. It's crazy. So let's start with some secret of NIM. This is scene 11, background 11, no overlay, no underlay, overlay, sequence 15. Now, I guess that's something, if you guys don't know what this means, and I know a lot of you out there are aspiring animators, I'll you know educate you guys and tell you what all this stuff means. Like up here, you see 12FC, that's a 12 field, 12, 12F, 12 field. And down here, you've got scene 11, background 11, there's no overlay, there's no underlay or overlay as well to combine. Or, and this is the sequence number 15, 0, 15. So that's how that works. So, so if you look over here, it's the same thing, 11, 11, 15, because it's the same background, just a different poses. So it stays on that. It's the same scene, just Don telling the animators, I think he was the animator, but uh, basically storyboarding it out so it had some motion, same background and everything. And... It, so when the, the scene changes, it'll be a different background. Background as well will change and all that. And so let's, let's, let's continue. So check this out. And that's what A and B means. So this is number A, this is B. So you know that this is number one, this is number two, of which order it goes in. But isn't that gorgeous? Justin with Mr. Age is there. Okay, let's go to the next one. Yeah, if you, if you flip it, let's, let's try flipping it. That's him getting closer. Same background, but him getting closer. I hope you can see that. That's how detailed Don draws. <laughs> if the animator does come in, basically it's all drawn for them. All right, that's beautiful. So it's still the same scene, so Justin comes off the scene. And it's the same background and everything. It's 1111 and number C. So you can tell that's still the same background, still the same scene. And sequence. Look at that. So they're coming into the camera. That's D, 12 field. Even more into the camera. Gosh, those are gorgeous, aren't they? And then the last of them. F. It's pretty much animated. I mean, seriously, you can just print this or print it out, put pegs on it, then animate everything. <laughs> okay, so now we're at scene 12.4, BG 12.4, sequence 4. Hook Crow was scene 12.3 on the CD disc down is Nimmo 4. Okay, so check that out. There's Jeremy and Mrs. Brisby. Gorgeous. When I showed these to Don when I found them, he's like, where'd you find those? <laughs> and he's looking at them. So happy to see him again. There's B. So as we said before, you know, same background. That's how you know it's the same background, same scene, same background. Same sequence as well. 12 field animation paper. Gorgeous. Look at that. 
And then Mrs. Brisby is somewhere down here off the screen. Look at that. Oh. Scene 28, background 22, sequence 4A. Hook was scene 27. Look at that. Wow. Such feeling. Let's, let's flip that, shall we? Can you see that? Without pegs, it's a little difficult. Let me write them right here. Yeah, it's a little difficult, right? <laughs> but gorgeous drawings. When I showed the Don, Don was like, yeah, I storyboarded that entire film. <laughs> yeah, let's be. Four, I believe that's the, um, how long the shot is, the scene is. So it's four footage. So they don't go by frames back in the day. <laughs> back in the day. They used to go by um, footage and not um, frames or seconds or minutes. They went by footage. That's a whole nother video. <laughs> Understanding the difference between uh, frames, footage, and minutes and seconds. 28, 22. Got an underlay of 28. How about that? Sequence four. And, and teaching about underlays and overlays, that's that'd be another video too. That that's more like teaching education stuff and it's backgrounds either under or over, you know, that's what that basically means. Look at that. Non D. Okay, scene eleven. Wasn't that other one eleven? Yeah, that was this was eleven as well. That might be the same background, scene 11. Oh no, sequence four. Okay, so there's a different sequence with a different number. A, look at Jeremy getting caught up. Oh wow, look at that. Wow. I think this is 1980 when they were doing all this. I have to double check when the movie came out. I think the movie came out 81 or 82. That's gorgeous. Oh, wow. Let's uh, flip that, huh? If you like the flipping, please say in the comments that you want more flipping in the future. That is 4D, right? Yep. So, boop. I mean, you really can't flip it because it's a, it's four feet, so it's quite a lot of information going on there before that next drawing happens. Wow. 16A. Look at that. That's great. <laughs> wow. And there's the pegs. You can see where the peg marks were. Now, these are copies. There's a lot of original artwork too that's in the storage and in the garage area. I'll be going to, again, if this video is popular, you know, I and people really like it and do a lot of comments and stuff, um, I will do more and we'll get into like the original stuff. Wow, look at that. Preparing to get up. Hook was scene 17. Wow. Oh, look at that. Oh, wow. The epic, what is that, a lantern going underwater scene or going underground scene? Wow. 29, 29, sequence 8B. Wow, look at that. Just look at that detail. Beautiful. Oh, look at that. Wow. What it would have been like to work on that film. You know, sometimes I hate that I was born in the wrong generation. <laughs> Look at that. I think that's Auntie Shrew. I guess we'll find out in the next one. It's Auntie Shrew. I think this is out of order. That's B. Yeah, B. Yeah, so enters. And then C. Then D. Look at that. Look at that. Expression, just gorgeous. Oh, look at that! That's so great. 
Like if that was a cell, I'd want it framed. Or even an original piece of art. You might find some of the original stuff when it comes to this, this stuff. I don't know. Wow. Hook up character position was seen 20, 30, uh, 53. It's Mr. Ages. Look at all that hair. I mean, do you want to talk about animating? That is probably the pain. Because if you don't animate this right, like if you don't count and how many, it disappears. Like when it moves, sometimes there'll be more of them or less of them or more of them or less of them. It gets difficult when you've got so much detail. Especially when you're starting out animating. This is like pro animator would have to animate him. Someone super good. Like Don. <laughs> Look at that. Or someone like Lorna Cook or Jeff Edder. Look at that. Wow. Then a broken little foot. <laughs> that adorable. Wow. Oh. Reuse animation of hands. Sequence 901. New animation of Nicodemus. Wow. Reuse BG question mark. Sequence 1. Sequence. So the sequence 8A. Scene 4. BG4. Look at that. Get into that. Look at that. It's amazing. I think I just found my thumbnail. Get a little closer. <laughs> we'll see. <laughs> Thumbnail, meaning the thumbnail of the, the video. That means Nicodemus reflect, so he didn't draw him in there. Look at those hands. The story behind the hands were, the hands are too scary. But this was Don's first film. He got everything he wanted, for the most part. It was until the future movies where the suits come in and tell you what you can and cannot do. Or the investors. Man, look at that. Such a great hand. Just studying that hand alone would help any artist become a better artist at hands. Oh, look at that. Oh, I'm going. Let me go back to that. Let's try it. So that was C. And that was D. Let's see what it looks like. Ready? Oh. Love it. Absolutely love it. Well, Mr. Age is coming in from off stage, far off stage in the back. 12. Oh, look at that close up. Man, again, that detail is just insane. Man. I should ask Don who animated Mr. Age's. Look at that. Jenner with Mrs. Brisby holding her hand close to that. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Hookup character position was seen 35 and 37. 11 fo footage, 11 even. 36, 36, 8C. That happened a lot, you know, where like they're doing it, all of a sudden they gotta jump in and say, okay, this is sequence 8A or B, because they add or subtract. Otherwise, it would just be 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. <laughs> Same with like the numbers too. They'll add A, Don will add A, B, or C or something when they want to add, and not up here, but in here. They want to add like a, a sequence or just a drawing or something or et cetera. Let's flip that. That's a very long shot. So look at that. I hope you can see that. Absolutely beautiful. Okay, continuing. Mrs. Brisby, scene 49. And I'm sure a lot of these shots and scenes, um, or scenes and sequences, not shots, that's what we say nowadays, um, are very familiar. You could probably find these in the movie. Because so I believe every single one of these are screen used storyboards. Wow. Sequence eight. Oh, look at that. Look at her sitting down. Oh, close here. Look at that. That's great. Thank you again, everybody, for joining. Um, be sure you follow, subscribe. You know, I'm doing other things in animation nowadays. I'm getting into live action. Bought myself a 
really cool cinema camera. So I'm gonna be doing a lot of that. Uh, but I will continue to do animation for the rest of my life. I love animation. And if we could somehow make it, have the money to make it, <laughs> that's all I'd be doing. But unfortunately, 2D animation is just too expensive and no one wants to take a risk, you know? we, Don and I, we pitched five projects and the only project that got picked up was Dragon's Lair and it's live action. They didn't want to animate it. So you can't, it's hard to fight, you know, the executives and the people who owe the money. If they don't want to give you the money, and we don't have $35 million. <laughs> if we did, we'd be making a movie. But So if any of you out there know anybody with $35 million wants to make a Don Booth film, hey, just contact me. We'll make it happen. Look at that, it's gorgeous. Especially when you get close, like the detail. Look at that. Man. Oh, we got some folded stuff here. These are... Okay, Justin. More Justin. Wow. Effects animation on TP. That's great. TP, background number 14. Levin Field Tilt 90 CCU. So it looks like something that's tilted. 90 degrees. I've actually never seen that before. 12 field, so it's on 12 field animation. So it's a, this would be a much bigger piece of paper. Well, right now it's just, this is a, I think it's 11 by 17 copies. So this is an animation paper. Wow, look at that. Line of action. Wow. Wow. There's so much of this. And what's funny is that this is this is like a little bit compared to what's actually out there in the that we're gonna be going through for the new book. Well wow, Brisby moves back as Justin comes forward. Okay. Brisby moves back. Justin, because that's not Justin. I guess Justin's here somewhere. Right there. Okay, that makes sense. <laughs> I'm like, because that's not Justin. Let's flip that. And Mrs. Brisby disappears. Brisby moves back. Look at that. Oh, that's so great. Oh no, we're almost done. Again, you guys, if you like this video, I'll make more. We're going through everything. We're scanning everything. We're going through everything. So we have high resolution um, of everything. So apparently back in 2000, uh, they scanned stuff, but they didn't know how to scan it apparently, because they scanned it at 72 DPI, and that's tiny. So I'll be scanning this stuff at like 550 DPI, and that's just me going overboard, because I like to go overboard. But when it comes to like, just if you're doing something print, 300 DPI for postcards, even banners and, uh, what is it, uh, billboards, you know, that's 300 DPI, but I like to scan over scan, so like 550, 600. So therefore we have it at the best possible quality as possible. That's the only reason why I've got so many hard drives. <laughs> lots and lots of high resolution scans. Look at that, beautiful. Oh, here we go. Wow, it's the kids and Auntie Shrew. Wow. Oh, such a great scene. He's like, oh, shut up. <laughs> One of the funniest scenes ever. Wow, look at that close up. Another very difficult, look at his hands and the, all the hair, the teeth and the, the, the cellulite. <laughs> so much of it that is difficult to animate. Another pro animator. Like newbie animators get to do little stuff like bunnies running and jumping and birds flying in circles or something. <laughs> there we go. That, that's it. Oh, no, that's it. All right, guys. Well, thank you for joining me. Again, I'm Lavelle Lee from Don Blue Studios and TraditionalAnimation.com. This is the first video called the Don Bluth Archive Series, Part 1. So if it does well, I'll make a lot more of these. 
And I welcome you to subscribe and hit that notification bell. And I will see you hopefully in the next one. See you later.